everyone, welcome back. It's time to get started with our yoga strength. Yet again, I have a couple of blocks today and a, as I like to call it, a knee cushion or you can call it a yoga blanket. Something for some of the kneeling poses that we'll do today. I don't forget about that. So here we go. Let's get started. <laughs> Starting from the floor yet again today. Feet a little ways out in front of you, up tall, nice, long, extended spine. I'm going to inhale, bring the arms up overhead, maintaining integrity of our spine. As we exhale, back down to our sides. Feel a little bit of core activation. Your belly should pull in, especially as you are raising your arms up. Let's just know that it's turning on and helping us maintain our posture. That's what we want. Just a gentle warming up and activation of our muscles to prep them and let them know what to get ready for the time we have ahead. Let's do one more. Hands outside your hips, make sure you place them a little ways back. Now we're just going to Extend the knee, extend the knee. Your leg might not straighten very well yet because we haven't warmed those hamstring muscles up, but just a little bit. Yes, you might still feel your core while you're doing this. That's not a coincidence. One more on each side. And back down. Bring it up. Set ourselves. Now we're going to give a gentle hinge back. Maintain our spinal integrity until we feel that activation in our middle. Now, if we're good here, this feels like enough of a challenge, keep it here. If you can do a little bit more, you can lift your feet. Let's just stick with those two at the moment. Feet down or feet up. Alternatively, if your feet are down and you can have a little more challenge, but feet up is too much, you can alternate lifting feet. Whichever is appropriate for you right now, that's the route to go. And everybody back down. going to take the soles of our feet, bring them together as close to or as far away from your body as is comfortable. And we're using our outer hip muscles, our glute muscles, to pull our knees as close to the floor as we can get them. Inhale, bringing them up. Exhale, pulling down to the floor. And while we're doing this, spinal integrity of utmost importance. Don't do that. We're not here right now. Up tall. Nice, nice long spinal line. We want all our muscles to learn how to work in proper posture, so drooping forward doesn't help us any in the long run. Doesn't help us any in the short run either. Pull those knees down. Release back up to center. 
From here, we're going to gently roll it all the way down to the floor. Arms up, legs up. And we're going to keep the legs up just nice and straight. We're going to inhale, bring the arms down. Exhale, pull them up to center. One more. And we're going to take a little further from there. If it's comfortable, we're going to do our dying buck. Inhaling opposite arm and leg down. Exhaling, use our middle muscles to pull back up to center. One more time on each side. Bring it back down for a little rest. All right, rest time's over. Bring it back up. Actually. We're going to lift our shoulder blades up and we can tuck the chin a little. Reach over to the right side. Inhale the right leg down, exhale, pull it up, keeping ourselves lifted and reaching over to that side as best as we can. When 
you're done, cross your shins, grab those ankles, get back up, and transition to a nice, fluffy little plank. time with the left. And press both. Look up. Walk your feet to forward fold to your hands. We'll bend the knees and straighten them a little. Gently start to warm things up a little more.
Don't separate the feet about hip width apart. Press the hips back into a little squat. Raise up and reach. Squat and reach. Can you do that while I check the music? Situation. Not really sure why that did that. Exhale, nice hinge from the hips to pull the pull. Keeping that squeeze on the block. Belly pull in here. Turn down about 45 degrees. 
arms out to the side, make sure those shoulders relax. And we're just gonna spill our pelvis over, tipping down to triangle. Again, remember from our previous lessons, we want the chest nice and open. This, this is helping us if we're trying to get to the floor. Open it up, hand on the shin, hand on the block. That's what's most important. Let's lift up, switch our feet, and down to the other side. You might find that one side is tighter than the other. One side you need a block, and one side you don't, but it's okay. Notice those differences in what you need to maintain alignment. Lift back up to center. Switch those feet again. And bring it back down. Dive on down. Moving 
the hips a little bit. Thank you. 
Sensors, aka our blocks. Nice hinge, flat back, wind up, belly button pulled in, shoulders pulled back. This is not a flat back. Thank you. 
Set that flat back. And if you have to raise yourself up, hands on your thighs, that's okay. Everybody's going to hinge up to standing now. transitioning to one of my favorite balance poses in hip openers. All half movements. So to get there, just step right back to a high lunge.
our kneeling squat. Inhaling down, exhaling back up. Also, a great exercise for doing at home strength work. You have a weight, hold it at your chest, hold it on your shoulders. Let's do two more. This should be about even. Send that aside. Taking it to seated. We're going to start with a little seated glute stretch. I guess, glute stretch. I guess you would call it seated. Now, if it's not, let's start with this. Step one parallel shins. In this case, well, left shin in front of the right one, and hinging forward. If that is enough of a stretch for you, keep it there. If it's not too much stress on your knees, we're going to kind of prop ourselves up, place that left ankle on the right thigh. Don't let your hip sink down. Keep it level. And try to close the gap between our chest and our shin. For me, it's not going to get very close. Keep that left ankle flexed. Don't let it get sloppy because then we lose the integrity in our knee, our pelvis drops, and now we got all kinds of funny torque happening. No, 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 no. So if this is too much, go back to the first stretch that we did. You can progress and work your way to here through time and practice. Lower down, untangle ourselves from that, and then we're going to switch. We do that very gracefully. Okay. It's more nerve wracking trying to do this on a video than it is in class. Used to this new form of teaching. It's all about your process. out straight, spine up straight. And inhale, kind of like we did at the beginning. Arms up, get a little more length in our spine. And as we exhale, maintain that length. Bring your arms back to your side, back to staff pose. Do that again. Exhale, we're going to maintain our length and hinge forward. Now, I said hinge, not reach forward. This, no, no. Spinal alignment, as far as you can, maintaining that. If you reach your toes, that's great. If not, something to work for. I can see right here that this is as far as I'm going to go. If I try to go any further, I'm going to go around and I've lost the integrity. Exercise. That doesn't smell good. 
Knees, bring it back up. We're going to bring our right foot out to the side a little bit. We're going to bring the left one in. Inhaling up. Exhale, taking it forward. Careful not to let that left knee follow. Keep that actively pressed down. Yes, we have to use some muscles to make that happen. We're never just hanging out in a pose or in a stretch. Something is always working. Always. Bring it back up. Watch, switch sides. Inhaling up. And exhale. Take it forward. back up and let's roll it all the way back down to the floor extend the left leg out right knee into the chest Arms up one last time. Exhale. Relax. Namaste. Thanks for joining me today. Hope 
hopefully that wasn't too bad. <sighs> you all could see me. We got through everything okay. Again, bear with me with lighting and situating. I'm an exercise physiologist, not a lighting technician or videographer or anything like that. So this is what we have. You can see what I'm doing and that's the main, the main gist, the main goal of things. So that's what we have for today. We'll see you next time.